Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, today I'll talk about how we can uh, uh, use of a self storage dashboard. Okay, and um, right now we we'll talk about of a self storage dashboard on the Red Hat self storage. But this procedure that I will be able to show you during this this whole video will be also relevant for the open source version of self storage cluster okay so don't worry even if you have an open source version this uh, procedure will be relevant for your case okay so let's proceed so we now just collect on my environment uh, my different uh, credential so here is how it's up here we write that self storage cluster and same thing so for the or uh, open source version. And uh, first of all, I would like to mention that uh, this dashboard is based on the Quincy version. Okay, so it's the 17 version of a self story cluster. Uh, yeah. So right now, how you can see, we have uh, from this main page uh, the status of your whole cluster. Okay, we have the global status of your self story cluster. The healthy. Okay, if you have some issues or any uh, critical issues, it should appear here. Okay, your this interface will show you uh, that uh, any critical critical issues is not going in your cluster. Here we have the whole capacity of your cluster. Okay, as you can see, the percentage of used okay capacity from the, uh, and uh, here we have the whole capacity of your cluster right now. Here we have a detail about of your cluster ID. Very important. To have to, you may have to know that. And uh, the thing that your CFDM is the, the request cluster that has been used to deploy up the self storage cluster. And here we have an inventory about of the different uh, components that are in your self storage cluster. The inventory. So here you can see we have four hosts. We have four monitor monitors, four managers even who is this and we have also nine pools that has been created in your cluster and here we have the number of pages and uh, if you deploy any object storage uh, gateway we can we may we'll be able to see the number here and also if you have deployed any data uh, metadata server for the CFS, okay for the file uh, file, uh, file type storage provisioning we have to see this metadata server here so let's move on. Okay, this is about uh, this uh, first uh, uh, panel of your view here. If you don't want to see this view, you can just click here and uh, we will reduce the view and have a better view. So let's go from this main page. Uh, let's go here. Here we have, can sign up. Uh, you can view the user or uh, from which you are assigned sign in. Uh, sign in uh, with uh, it on this uh, dashboard okay you can get out from here and after here we have the user management okay you see it will be depending on your, your permission or your your form of permission of this, this current user okay we will be able to manage very different user in your uh, cluster from this uh, web interface okay i can create i can create new user okay and after creating those user i can also manage the role that I will have to assign to those users that has been created before. Okay. Yeah, after that, let's go back here. Let's go on the uh, cluster level here. From here, we can view the different uh, components that are characteristic of your cluster, okay? How many hosts you have in your cluster and in each host, which service has been deployed okay so the different services deployed in your cluster can be viewed here okay and uh, as you can see all hosts are there and the different services deployed deployed on each host after that we can see the physical drives okay the physical drives are embedded inside of each host can be viewed here i can see okay and i can also view the status about uh, if any osd has been uh, deployed on each uh, drives or not you can view it here in this uh, column okay and the availability of this or uh, each uh, drive okay and after that let's move on the monitor components those monitor have you know this uh, those monitor are the components that are that are store the 
cluster map. Okay, the cluster map is, a, a, is composed of five maps, the OSD map, PG map, monitor map, and so on. Okay, those maps have been stored in the monitor and can be the different components that are embedded for monitor components. Okay, here we can see that of a monitor that has been deployed, deployed on the client A, server C, D, and E. Great. After that, let's go, let's see the different services, okay, that we have deployed in this cluster. The services are Alert Manager, we have uh, Self-Exporter, Crash Services, Grafana Service, the MDS, the Manager Services, and each service manage a some number of daemons, okay? The service will have to take care of different demon. Here, for instance, we have uh, these services, it's managed only one demon at the moment, okay? In your cluster you have also this uh, let me show you this manager for instance services manage those demon on this cluster and you can see if they are running or not okay the state of the different of the demon managed by this service so from here we can have a clear view about all the different services that we have currently in your cluster after that after done that let's move on osds okay level here we can see the list of the whole osds that we have in your cluster and from there we can view the status of each each OSD, the device class if you are hdd or ssd or or nvme you can view the device class here okay and the pages numbers that have been stored on each OSD. and here we have also the size of of, of each OSD, as you can see after that if you would like to depending on your level of your user connected on this cluster we can you may be able to see the configuration uh, panel okay where we can update some uh, parameters of your cluster okay from the basic to advanced we can change some uh, parameters of your cluster and after that we can view the crash map the crash map is your i mean we have the hierarchy of your cluster the physical topology of a cluster Okay, but really the crash map is composed of two things. We have a hierarchy that you can see here. Okay, and we have also the crash rule. Though this is uh, clearly the crash map, but here I can, you can view only here, you can only view the hierarchy the, that we have in your cluster right now uh, from the point of view of your self storage. But normally, if you are in production, you should update this uh, uh, hierarchy to be a uh, uh, to be close to your real, okay, to, to your physical uh, uh, deployment of a different host of your self storage cluster. You have to have this, this uh, hierarchy, definitely. Okay, don't let it eat by, by default. And after that, let's see the manager module that we have in your cluster. Okay, we have also the different uh, users. Both users are the different user users internally by self cl cluster. Okay, this differs from this user that can be created to, to manage your uh, your dashboard or your, or your infra infrastructure. Okay, those users are the internal users. For instance, if you have a virtual machine, okay, who would like to connect on the self cell cluster to have a a, a, a block drives, for instance, okay. This VM should have a user created here for he, uh, from here, okay, or from the CLI, and uh, sent out to this uh, specific VM who would like to have a block storage device types from self storage cluster. So, yeah. After that, let's move on the log size, the logs uh, level. You can view the different logs of your cluster if you have any issues or warning and so on. Those issues or warning will be will be able to appear here. We have also the monitor part, okay? The monitor part is if you have any, if you have any outlet on your cluster, this outlet or those outlets will be able to appear here, okay? Or you can clean some outlets, for instance, if you have some outlets, you can you will be able also to clean those outlets from this uh, view, okay? And after that, we finish off the cluster level, okay? Let's move on the pool side. side. We can view the different list of the different pool created in your cluster. As you may know, the pools are different the, lo the logical uh, partitions that we have inside your, inside your cluster. You can have pool RBD pool, you can have uh, RGW pool, you can also uh, SFS uh, pool types in your cluster. So all those information can be viewed view there, okay? And depending on the different data protection uh, assigned to your pool, you can view the status here. We have, uh, how 
actually the pools are only have uh, this uh, replicate uh, only replicated pool type okay right now okay and you can see the application is assigned to each pool as you can see so great now well, let's you have finished the block uh, at the finish of the pool level let's go to the block storage level here is about if you create any images or inside inside of a and are be the red blocks uh, device types okay pool okay if i create any image those images will be able to appear here okay the size and i can uh, ha, ha, do some actions okay, on those images okay if also i intend to perform an uh, rbw uh, i uh, an rbbd okay Mirror, mirroring for instance okay the statue will appear here okay if i would like to replicate some if i would like to replicate some images from one cluster to another cluster okay those images will be uh, uh, the statues will appear here okay about the different images that have been replicated from the current cluster to another cluster okay it can be one way replication or a two way replication in a way those images will be able to appear here okay for the uh for the cfs okay okay uh, i can see like i mean if you have um, uh, for instance nfs ganesha okay uh, or gateway deploy for instance this nfs ganesha gateway will be able to appear here okay for the cfs uh, okay gateway for instance we can be able to build a different file system that have been created for the cfs here okay now the third types of storage which should be object storage types we can if we deploy it uh, we could be able to see them here you can see you will see able you will be able to see the different daemon here okay and uh, after deploy it you can also create some users you will, those users will be able to appear here and if you if you created any buckets inside of this uh, for this object gateway also those buckets will be able to appear here so guys this is all for the, for this video i hope that you enjoy it and if you find relevant information, please feel free to share, comment, or like this video. This helps us to grow the channel or continue to produce much more content for you. So thank you very much, guys, and take care and continue to promote this wonderful technology, which is, which is a self-storage cluster. Bye and take care.